Hi guys, Princess Honeypot here again. Back here again, I've got my tea. Have a long day. Blood tests, all sorts today, so. Yeah, this is the one that um, changes colour. It starts off plain, and then when you put the water in, it turns into, um, you know, the Christmas, when he tries to sort of um, describe it all and everything in the nightmare before Christmas. So you've got that. I'm just going to have a little swig of that. So we can get on with the other calendars. Right, what are we on? It's the 10th today, isn't it, guys? I think it's the 10th. Oh, no, oh, Emma, you've left your glasses in the car and all. Oh. Right, there we go. Right, here's number 10. Here, yeah, this one. Okay. Now what's going on with the doors on these advent calendars this year, guys? You know, like they're really hard to get hold of. I don't think it's just my rubbish hands because they're just useless. But oh look, we've got a, a cute little snowman today with his little Santa hat on. And you can see his little red branch arms, his little bum, and he's got a red carrot nose. <laughs> So, right, what's the chucky today then? Oh look, I think it's uh it looks like a reindeer. Yeah, yes. So bye bye reindeer. Right, that one over there. We've got number two. Oh look. What do we reckon this little one? Another charm? Um, break the door again. I can't get a hold of them. It's an absolute nightmare. Half my video is trying to get the door. Look, look what happens. I can't, I can't get hold of the door. Ugh. Seriously. Oh, right. We got there in the end, guys. Right. What we got? Oh, oh, look. Oh, look. That's really pretty. It's another ring. It's rose gold and it's got little um, pinky diamonds. It might be. Are they silver? I can't really see. It might be. It's sort of like, anyway, it's got little diamonds and it's rose gold again. Very pretty. We like that. So we'll pop that down there and close that one over. We'll have a sip of tea. <laughs> Got a nice red Christmassy straw today. Um, what's everyone been up to today then? Let me know in the comments how everything's going. Um, as I say, I went for a blood test today. It was uh, nice and early today, so didn't have to wait around for hours. Um, I have a lot of problems with, um, because I have to have a lot of blood tests, um, the blood flow doesn't stop. So they always have to like completely pad out my arm with loads and loads of cotton wool swabs and I'm just trying to hold the blood in basically. So TMI, I know, but got to be truthful on this channel, ain't you? And and then I popped to Card Factory, picked up a few Christmas cards for my friends, got some wrapping paper and popped in Primark, grabbed a scarf and some like black mitteny glove type things. Nothing exciting, all essentials. And then I came back home and done pretty much nothing all day. Just lazy. <laughs> Anyway, enough chatting. Again, as always, WH Smith, £10 half price. I haven't got any more now. Um, and yeah, right. There is number 10. Ah, right, okay, I've got it. It is right there with the red um, and the white diamonds, as you can see. 
Okay. All right, so number 10. Let's pull that one out. What do we reckon today then, guys? What we um, what story are we hoping for today? I'm hoping for another princess one because there's only been one princess one so far. But I don't think I've got any chance. Right, we've got, uh, as usual, same. Boring cover, like I said, I think that these could be, at least there could be like maybe three or four different designs as opposed to the boring gold stars and snowflakes all the time. <laughs> but here we go. Right. So it's a blue back. So, and it is this one. <laughs> so we've got Disney Pixar. Oh, nice. Finding Nemo, a big blue Christmas. And I can see the artwork's going to be really cool on this one again. Because look, it's autumn. Awesome. Autumn? Awesome. <laughs> just ignore me. I'm just mad. By the way, guys, I haven't got my glasses on again. So good luck to me. Right, it says, Dad, wake up, Nemo shouted early one morning as he swam back and forth across their anemone home. What is it, Nemo? asked Marlin, waking in a hurry. Are you hurt? Is something wrong? No, Dad, the little clownfish said. It's just that I have a terrific idea. It's almost Christmas. Could we have a party? Sounds like fun, Nemo, said Marlin with a yawn. Sounds like fun. <laughs> I sounded more like Dory with the whale then, didn't I? Whale voice. But let's wait until after breakfast to start planning. So look, there's Marlin, <laughs> he's half asleep. And there's Nemo, all excited. This is Anemone home. I like the bu all the bubbles. It's very pretty colors. Right after breakfast, Nemo and Marlin made a list of friends to invite. It was a long list because they had friends all over the ocean. Marlin wondered how they'd let everyone know in time. I can ask Bruce, Chum and Anchor to help spread the word, offered Nemo. No one can say no to those guys. Marlin agreed with his son. Well, all right, son, he said, but be careful. I know, Dad. See you later, he called as he swam off. So there goes Nemo, off to ask his mates to come to the Christmas party. Very cute. And then look, there's Marlin in the anemone here. God, I don't know what these are. I don't know what these blue things are down here. <laughs> <coughs> Nemo swam as fast as he could to find his shark friends. What brings you out this way, Nemo? asked Bruce. The little clownfish told them all about the Christmas party. The sharks were thrilled. They didn't get invited to many parties. Then Nemo asked them to help tell everyone about it. You can count on us, said Bruce proudly. So look, there's the sharks. Got a hammerhead and just a blue, great, great white and a blue shark. There we go. Yeah. When Nemo got home, Marlin was nervous. We need to plan the the menu and then there's cleaning and decorating and stop right there, Dad, said Nemo. I'll be back later with more fins. Nemo had made some great friends. When he had been captured and put in a tank at a dentist's office, the whole Tank gang had eventually escaped and were now living in the ocean. Nemo went to ask them for their help with the party. So look, so look, Marlin's all panicky about food and what's happening, how many people. And Nemo's like, no, 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 Dad, it's fine. I just asked the guys. I believe Gil used to call Nemo shark bait, if I'm right. When Nemo returned home, two of his tank gang pals were with him. Deb, a blue and white humbug fish, and Jacques, a tiny cleaner shrimp. The two instantly got to work on the food and cleaning the anemone. 
It's too bad Flo couldn't be here, said Deb sadly. She does like a party. Nemo and Marlin winked at each other. They knew that Flo was really only Deb's reflection in the tank glass. So look. <coughs> Here's Deb. <laughs> Here's Nemo, Marlin. Um, can't see the other fish. Oh no, there he is. There's the little shrimp down there. Jacques. <laughs> Next, Nemo swam off to find their friend Dory, the regal blue tangfish. Do I know you? Dory asked when Nemo found her. Nemo just smiled at his forgetful friend. All of a sudden, Dory hugged him and said, Nemo, I've missed you. Nemo asked Dory if she'd help decorate for a party. I love parties, she said happily. At least I think I like parties. That afternoon, Dory and Nemo worked hard, hanging streamers and reefs, and they decorated a conch shell Christmas tree. So that you can see all the decorations happening. <coughs> Here's Dory and Nemo. They've got some little reefs here. And it kind of looks like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? Look. <coughs> it's like all the green weed. <laughs> <coughs> is that a... Oh. I can't see what that is down there. I thought that was a crab, but I don't think it is. Um, meanwhile, the sharks were busy inviting the other guests. Finally, there were just the sea turtles left to invite. So the sharks took a ride on the East Australian current and soon caught up with them. Awesome, said Crush. I love a party. Hey, dudes, can I come too? Asked Squirt. Of course, said Chum. Nemo wants all of his foods. I mean, friends. <laughs> there. So look, here's Squirt. Here's Crush. I do like Squirt and Crush. And then you've got the uh, sharks here. And then here's the ones from the the tank gang. Right, there they are. Very cool. Very, very colourful, isn't it, this book? Very nice, cute. Uh, yeah. Finally, the night of the party arrived. Wearing colourful Christmas sea garlands, Marlin and Nemo greeted their guests. Before long, the party was filled with friends from far and near. Deb's seaweed and kelp cake and salty seawater punch were delicious and went down a treat. Everyone was gathered around the conch shell Christmas tree having a great time. So look, is everyone enjoying themselves? You got Dory and Nemo, no, Dory, Marlin, Nemo, uh, Gil. I can't remember the blowfish's name. Uh, then you've got Crush, Squirt, some other little dudes. <laughs> but yeah, they're all there. I don't know. I can't remember what her name is either. The one that inks. <laughs> and Bruce. Oh, yeah, they're all there. I can't remember his name either. As I say, very, very pretty. I think Crush is cute up here. Got his little arm up here. And then you can see like all the seaweed done like um, garlands and the tree. Very cool. Time to open presents, announced Marlin. He swam over to the conch shell Christmas tree. Dory swam around the other guests, muttering, where is that present I bought? What did I bring? What? Wait. Did I bring a present? Whose birthday is it anyway? <coughs> Poor Dory. <laughs> so you've got all the presents here. Then you've got Marlin and a present and Dory. And she's like, oh my God, did I even buy a present? Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> she looks really, really frustrated and confused, so she, bless her. Then Marlin's got some garland around him. For Bubbles, another member of the tank gang, I think that's the name of the one that inks, Nemo had got a brand new tiny treasure chest that released a cloud of bubbles when he opened it. Bubbles giggled. How I've missed my bubbles. Thank you, Nemo. 
The little treasure chest was one of the few things any of them missed from their days living in the tank. So look, I, I know whenever he goes, bubbles, bubbles. So that's what he's doing again. Bubbles. <laughs> There's Nemo. Actually, I said Marlin on the other page, but I think that was Nemo as well. With the garland wrapped around him. Bubbles. <laughs> Enough bubbles. <laughs> After all the presents had been opened, it was time for some live music. Come on, guys, Nemo whispered to Pearl, Sheldon and Tad. Time to get everyone singing and dancing. And they did. The guests all turned to watch as they started to play. We wish you a Merry Fishmas. So there we go. Look, everyone's playing all the instruments and having a jolly good time. Dancing and singing. Look, there's Jacques down here. Nemo, Marlin. Gil, Bubbles, uh, Bruce, Squirt, Crush, uh, Mr. Ray. They're all there having a jolly good time. Um, is anyone else there? Yeah, I don't know what the hammerhead shark's called. Uh, Flo's that No, Deb's there because there is no Flo. <laughs> I don't know what the little seahorse is called either here in the middle. But I do think it's a really pretty book. Soon it was getting late and their friends began to swim home. When the last guest had gone, Nemo said to Marlin, Dad, this was the best Christmas ever. You bet it was, said Marlin. We are lucky to have so many good friends. But the best gift of all is spending Christmas with you. And he gave his son a great big snuggle <laughs> look how cute oh marlin and nemo very sweet and the bubbles that's a cute picture isn't it with a green anemone at the bottom so there you go guys that was disney pixar finding nemo a big blue christmas so that's another one done and dusted right Oh, it's nice to have a cup of tea on a cold day. <clears throat> but yeah, as I say, <clears throat> oh dear, if you enjoyed that, as usual, please give me a huge thumbs up. Tell your friends. Follow me on Instagram, 30bluebell30. Um, I'm always uploading stuff to Instagram pretty much daily or at least three or four times a week. Um and yeah, as I say, send me some comments. Let me know what your favourite part of Chris, what your favourite part about Christmas is, or like I say, favourite song. Again, the little um, oh, what's his name? The little gonk. He still needs a name. At the moment, he's still called Bob. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I haven't really got anything else more to say, to be honest. I will see you tomorrow for Advent Calendar Day 11 and how, and I can't believe how close we are getting to the big day. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, it's, uh, what is it today? Um, 15 days, so tomorrow. It's a fortnight till Christmas. Uh, let me know, everyone, if you finished your Christmas shopping, if you're halfway through, if you did it all online. Um... And yeah, I've almost finished now, as I say. I've just got the last few little bits and pieces to grab next Wednesday. And then I'm completely done. And and then I will um, start getting everything wrapped and stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, enough of me waffling. I will see you all again soon. Lots of love. Goodbye.